Paul Carrick Bronson revealed he sought therapy following Married at First Sight UK Series 1. The dating expert, 49, expressed just how much his responsibility on the show had taken its toll ahead of the new series, alongside co-stars Mel Schilling and Charlene Douglas. In a new interview alongside his fellow dating coach Mel, the pair were asked whether they feel responsible when things go wrong between the couples they put together. Paul candidly spilled, Oh yeah, the first series I did, I had to go to therapy because of that, because I put all my value in whether or not the couples would actually work, and then I realized that's not really what this is about. He went on to say the show was not just about the couples but the viewers, too. Read more. Jeremy Clarkson makes sly dig as no Ledmans is seen working in coffee shop I really believe this show is therapy for the UK, you know Teresa one year backlog to get a therapist in the UK and so this is one of the only opportunities where you could see professionals who do this for real right, we do this outside of the show and you can talk with your partner and you can dialogue and you can build stronger relationships so that's really what this is about and that's the responsibility I now feel, he continued. During their appearance on the Capital Breakfast show, he and Mel also defended the program for casting its first ever transgender bride Ella Morgan Clark. Mel explained that the team got the bride and groom's respective consent before setting up their marriage and went on express the importance of normalizing a trans woman. She added it was also the show's number one priority to look after the contestants' mental health. We're not in the business of surprising anyone, this is not a gotcha moment, this is a proper relationship between a man and a woman. So, we did get consent, we got her consent, and we got his consent, he knew that he was marrying a trans woman, Mel added. Don't miss. Wheeler Dealers host Amazed at a restored classic Porsche after mistake, revealed, Angela Rippon's appearance on Strictly leaves viewers distracted, reaction, Roman Kemp's mum's trading with Princess Kate as George's obsession unveiled, exclusive, Paul went on to say, everyone's talking about things that they haven't even seen yet, but once you watch it, you will understand how much care that web put into not just Ella's match, but in everyone's match on the show. The dating expert is also known to fans for his work on Celebs Go Dating alongside Anna Williamson and Tom Reed Wilson. In 2021, he expressed how being away from his long-term wife Jill and their two sons for longer than usual didn't work well for him. Due to Covid restrictions at the time, Paul was based in Surrey, UK for 45 days, while his family were back home in America, and with this, he insisted he didn't enjoy the series as much. In a statement after the show concluded, he told fans how he and his wife agree to travel together as a family if work away from home is scheduled for longer than 10 days. Paul went on to say his tolerance for BT was non-existent and snapped at crew members. For the first time I got into an off-camera verbal altercation with a celeb, he explained. Real talk, if it wasn't for daily meditation, exercise and CBD, I would have put my hands on them. The dating expert went on to say that period of time made him realize he needed his loved ones to function. They ground, replenish and light me up. He added. My family is my greatest treasure. Never again will I break that promise. Married at First Sight UK 2023 will start on 18th September on E4 at 9pm. Just me.